Okay, in today's video, we will demonstrate to you how to fix one of the commonly seen issues in today's service camera. Now, if you have recently upgraded your camera's firmware to the latest version, a lot of times when you turn on the camera, you will come across a message that tells you that this camera can only work within China. So now, this is because uh, recently, Xiaoyi has introduced new steps to prevent people from using the Chinese version of the camera outside of China. Now, in order to resolve this, it's pretty straightforward. We just need to downgrade the firmware of our camera. This camera can only be used within China. So the first thing to do now would be to reset your camera. Get a pin, turn to the back of your camera, press and hold the reset button for a few seconds. You should hear a prompt. So once the camera has been reset, proceed to power off your camera. Now for the third step of the process, we will need a micro SD card formatted in a FAT32 file format with the firmware that you want to flash it to. Insert the micro SD card and power on your camera. So after you power on your camera, it should the orange light, amber light should blink for a couple of for, for a while for a few minutes. Uh, if you're not seeing this blinking amber light, it means that you're flashing it wrongly. So I've tried this experiment many times and the version of the firmware is the key here. So there are certain, the latest version of the firmware doesn't allow me to, up, to downgrade to the last working version of it. So what happens is you need to flash to an even older version of the firmware and flash it back up again to the latest working version. So in other words, you need to flash twice to get to the working version of it. So in my example, I'm using 1.851K of the firmware. I'll provide you with a link to it in the description below. Uh, if your camera doesn't allow you to flash to this version, what always works for me is to flash it to 1.851B and then flash it again to 1.851L, which is the last working version of the firmware that I know of. So I'll provide you with a link to get all of this in the description. So if it doesn't work, just drop me a comment and I'll help you. I'll see what I can to help you with it. So after flash blinking for a while, it should become a still uh, amber light. And now the prompt here tells you that the, the camera is booting up. So wait for a couple of minutes, you should be able to, to link it to your camera again, as per usual. So get your Mi Home app. Prepare the QR code. So once you hear this prompt, it means that uh, it's, put up, it's booted up and it's ready. Scan your QR code to the camera and it should uh, work fine. Connect it as per normal and in a couple of minutes, you should be able to get your camera back. Okay, so the prompt here just says that it's been successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. So wait maybe 20 seconds more. So now the camera has been connected successfully. Uh, let's take a look at the camera that we just installed. So, yep, here you go, you'll see that the camera is working fine. And the prompt just tells you the same thing. So if you have any questions, drop us a note in the comment and we'll try to help. Thank you.